So guys, as you know, we're in Mina Bazaar and uh, to come to Mina Bazaar for most people, it's either for suits, for the guys, it's for the aftershaves and sometimes for getting your stitching done. That's what, Well, basically that's what my mum comes here for anyway. And uh, this place, Ruttans, is like famous. Everyone comes here for their aftershaves. Every time I come to Dubai, you go to Ruttans. It's just, you know to come there basically. And uh, there's a guy in there called Gudu. He's like the main guy there. We're going to go chat to him. I'm going to go inside and chat to him and see how he is. See if he remembers me. He should remember me. Every time he goes, oh, hello, how are you? Blah, blah. But he's cool. Remember, Ruttans come there. We're going to go inside now. Check out. And it's so busy. And they're rah, rah, rah. Watch how many people. And we're like during the day, so it's not that busy at the moment. But if you came here at night, it'd be rammed. I'm rambling on. Let's go inside. Ruttans, Mina Bazaar. Come. Good dude. How are you? All well. You tell me. How's things? How's things like oh, See? I knew he'd remember me. How you remember me then, yeah? Who's famous in this shop? My mum. Yeah, of course. Who? <laughs> my mum. She mom is famous all Dubai. Whole world. Whole globe probably. You know? She comes here all the time. You so good to you. How is business? Still good for you? Picking, yeah, no problem. Business has always been a good factor for us, you know. Business is always busy though, isn't it? Uh, it's, a, it's become pines in perfume trade, you know that, you know. We have worked very hard to make that name, you know. Listen, everyone in the UK knows to come here to get their aftershaves and perfumes, isn't it? We have very worked hard for that, you know that, you know. In the past also, we always try to maintain a quality factor, that's the most important, you know. And the best thing is the price, you know. Yeah. You know how much you pay back home and how much I charge you, you know. <laughs> no, but you know what? He starts high though. You yeah. do, yeah, you have to go with this, but he, fi he finds it fun though, isn't it? It's, it's a fun for me always, you know, yeah. So we left the perfume shop, the aftershave shop, perfume shop, whatever you want to call it, Ruttons. And now H is in and uh, he's been giving some orders by his mum to buy a diamond set. So basically, let's see if he got his diamond set for free. We're inside this diamond shop. It's called Dewan Jewels. We come here quite a lot. We know the guy in here. Come, should I just follow me? We'll go, we'll go, we'll go straight in. And uh, chat to Mr. Uncle G over here. Go through. H, any luck? Did you get your free set? Um, I'm maybe trying, you know, but I don't think this TV thing's working on diamond sets. It's not working. No, I'm a bit upset. You know, Uncle, I should ask him, Uncle, you know, earlier we went to a restaurant and we filmed in there. Give us a free, um, free. They give us a free meal. Yeah, okay then. What? I know we come to a diamond shop. We might get some free diamond. We'll give you definitely. We have a five carat piece of there for you. Five carats? Is that it? Yeah, yeah. You want more bigger? I heard. You know what I heard is that diamonds are marked up by about seventy-five percent. Yeah, definitely. It's like Ted Lapidus. You know? They always have sale for seventy percent off. So similar with the diamonds as well. If you go to a shop, what's the first thing to say to someone? If you say, look, this is the price, what would you say? No, what fifty percent off? Yeah, definitely. You can ask, depending on what stores are you going in. Yeah, they mark up a lot of price. Now, at this time, you know, the price have come down. This is the right time to buy again. So, Uncle, you're going to give us a free five carat, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's it. That's a deal. We'll give you back in a trance. <laughs> Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to see you again uh, at Devon Jewelers in Mina Bazaar. And like I said, if you come here, he's going to give you 75% off. 75% 70. <laughs> off. No. Mention Brit Asia. Mention Night Shift. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> On a million pound purchase, he said. All right, cool. We'll see you guys in a bit. So what's going on guys, we're outside Dubai Mall and I'm with DJ Shadow, he's been with us all day, chaperone and us, driving us about. Are you tired as much as I am now? I'm really, really tired. Is my hair all right? You know what, you're always worrying about your hair. Yeah. Where's my makeup artist? Where's the makeup Wait, wait, makeup, makeup. You know what? I tell you, Shadow, this area is kicking, man. It's like, this is where the place to be is during the day, right? And in the evening. Yeah, it's, it's a nice place. There are like lots of coffee shops. Where you can have something to eat. And Beautiful. The view is crazy. The Burj Dubai is on the other side. Burj Khalifa. Oh, Burj Khalifa, sorry. We all know that you're a DJ. You've been on my show before. And we know that you've done remixes for Jay Sean. And you've just recently done your own track, haven't you? Tera Saath, isn't it? Yeah, it's called Tera Saath Hai Kitna Pyara. It's, it's, a, it's a remix of an old tune. From John Baz? From Ja Baz, yeah. Uh, from the 1980s, I think. Yeah, uh, so I've redone the song since uh, Firoz Khan passed away. And it's kind of tribute to him. The video is crazy. Watch, watch out for the video. It's going to be crazy, right? Uh, and I hope it's, it gets to be aired on your show. Of course, we'll air it 100%. Ombre Asia will support you, no problem. Yeah. If, you, if you were to come here on holiday and you tell the viewers like the best places to probably come, where, where would you visit? Uh, the malls, obviously. Yeah. Uh, that's the Dubai Mall, Mall of the Emirates. There's also the beaches. Yeah. The beaches are nice. It's good to uh, check into a beach resort, s uh, stay there for a couple of days. That's probably in Jumeirah, yeah? Yeah, on, on the Jumeirah beach. There's also the, the clubs. You can the check clubs, out. That's where you are, is that, isn't it? So they can take me what, would you, what would you say, like, apart from Elegante, because I know you're biased, but what would be some of the best clubs in Dubai to visit? Uh, the top three would be Elegante, yep. Elegante, and Elegante. <laughs> now, come on, man, you have to give me an unbiased opinion. What would you say to people? Uh, my favorite ones are Boudoir, 400, and Sanctuary. Yeah? Yeah. 
I've been to, I've, you know, I've actually been to Boudoir and Sanctuary and they're crazy, man. They're crazy clubs. Tonight is all about Elegante. You're going to be there with us as well, aren't you? DJ H is going to be there. I'm going to be there. DJ Hani. We'll catch you guys later. And you know what? Right behind, bro, actually behind me here is, this is some like crazy fountain, isn't it? It's called the Dancing Fountain. I've heard rumours that it dances to Hindi songs as well. Yeah. And the music coming up next is mine. Really? Mm. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's a good wind-up merchant, isn't it? Now, you know what? Apparently, this is supposed to be amazing. Like, the Bellagio Hotel in, in Las Vegas is kind of like, it's supposed to be like 10 times better than that, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, it's supposed to be really, really good. So we'll let you guys check that out. I'm going to check it out myself. It comes on like every 20 minutes, isn't it? Every 20 minutes, yeah. That's what I've heard as well. So we've got about... About 10 minutes. When my music comes on. Wait, wait, 10 minutes. We'll catch it in 10 minutes. We'll see you guys. So guys, we spoke to one of the number one events DJs already. We spoke to DJ Shadow. And now I'm with Mr. Adam J, innit? Yes, how you doing? Mr. Good. Adam J, what's going on, bro? How you doing? I just met you like yesterday, yeah? And like, you know what? You're apparently one of the biggest R&B, hip hop, and uh, urban DJs around. In, uh, apparently, it, apparently. Apparently. Yeah. Is that just Sid hyping it up? That's Sid and Kit hyping it up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're from the UK. Whereabouts in the UK? Uh, West London. West London, yeah? One of the West London boys, yeah. I like that, I like that. So how long have you been out in Dubai then? I've uh, been here since April last year, uh, April 09. Uh, I came out here with number one events. And would you go back ever? Nah. You wouldn't? Nah. Dubai is the place? Definitely, definitely, 100% Dubai Give is the place. Give me three reasons why Dubai is the place. Sun, clubs and the women. Good reasons, isn't it? 100%, 100%. percent they very good reasons. Man, you wake up every day, sun is shining. But don't you miss the every football? Day. We get the football on TV yeah, here. You missed like. But actually, I'm a Liverpool fan. They got Liverpool oh. up here as well. Oh yeah. Oh, that, apparently yeah. that's in Habtour, isn't it? Yeah, Habtour fan. You go oh, there I need to go there every week. You you've been in the you've been in the club scene, and I asked I asked Shadow. I said I know Elegante is a good club. You don't need to tell me that. You don't need to keep saying nah, la 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 Elegante. You know we know it's good. We know it's big. You've had your promotion. If you had to name other clubs here, three other clubs, uh, what would you name? Okay, definitely I'd have to say Cheetah Lodge. Cheetah Lodge, definitely, man. The size of the club, the rooms they have, the artists they bring out. Obviously, I DJ there as well, um, so I have to throw that in. Uh, Cheetah Lodge, definitely. Uh, Boudoir is a club that everyone goes to out here, spends money. Um, and then Sanctuary. Sanctuary is heavy. You have to give up Sanctuary, definitely. Uh, the size of the club, they got an outside section as well. A lot of big DJs go there as well. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely say Sanctuary, Chi and Boudoir. But none of the viewers are allowed to go anywhere else besides Elegante, innit? Yeah, oh no, definitely. Thursdays and Fridays, Elegante. Week in, week out, man. Thursdays is packed, Fridays is packed. Uh, music, obviously, is off the hook. Shadow, you know, Hani and Josh. Yeah, heavy, heavy. So how, how, how would you, you, you've been a DJ on the London circuit. How would you compare the atmosphere, the vibe, the whole clubbing scene, how would you compare it? What's like, like what, clubs, what would you compare? The clubs out here, uh, they get started very late. Yep. Clubs in London open up at 10, same 10 till 3. But girls and guys in clubs, man, in London, they get there early, 10, 30 on a dot there. You know, they're queuing up outside. Over here, it's, it's a bit late. Everyone goes out after 12. So one o'clock, it's when the pack, like the club is packed. Yeah. Whereas in London, you can go to a club 11:30 and it's packed already. Yeah, it's getting busy. You know, some some clubs in London, you can't even get in after 12. But clubs out here, you can you can rock up at 12, 12:30, 12, and that's when everyone starts coming in. So how do you find the vibe out here? Because you know, in London, sometimes I notice. I love London. However, I I, I kind of notice it, like especially with A-list venues, and especially as well, like this is a, quite a controversial topic. Being an Asian, you know, when you go to the door and like they're just like no. Well, well, the attitude of people here, how would you compare it? The, the attitude towards people, the way they're dressed and that, I mean, that's globally. Yeah, of know, course, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, the, the top clubs here, a lot of people know people, yeah. but like that. The urban clubs down here, it's, it's a matter of knowing them as well. But then again, you can rock up, like I said, man, 12, 12, 30. If you're going two guys, three guys, I'm sure you'll get in no problems. Whereas London, it's a bit difficult going to a club, two, three guys. What do you find as well, like the crowd, like someone bumps into you in London sometimes, it's like, it's on. What about about here? Nah, you don't, you don't really get that out here. Definitely. Exactly. I've, I've Due to the law, just the mentality? Since, I think a bit of both. I think it's a bit of both. Since I've been in April last year, I haven't, I've seen maybe three fights. Really? Man, you got London one night, you'll see three fights. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Um, people out here, the girls get more respect from guys, and the bouncers obviously help them. Yeah. Girls, man, if they get approached, bouncer don't like. If, if they get approached and they're not happy, they'll tell the bouncer, the bouncer will, will go up to the guy and kick the guy out. In That's London, good. London, so my cousins can come here now. Yeah, exactly. In London, you, you're a girl, you go to a club, you get harassed, you get your ass pinched, you tell the bouncer, the bouncer will just stand there and be like, yeah, so what do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, so. so guys, behind me, this is like, in Las Vegas, I don't know if you see, like the Bellagio Hotel. This is a water fountain thing, it's amazing. If you look behind me, I'm gonna let you carry on, just see for yourself how beautiful this looks. <laughs> so these are, these, these are basically the fountains that uh, look amazing. They're kind of choreographed with the music. 
and uh, it looks it's beautiful, man. It's like it's like we were in Las Vegas about three about a month ago. We saw the ones outside the Bellagio, but this is on another level, guys. Enjoy. Are you filming this, man? Is it on? Yeah. There's no red light. I cannot see the light. It's on, it's on. Yeah, it's on.